It's been a long time since we got a brand new Dead Rising game. Ever since the Dead Rising 4 game came out, it did pretty much terrible reviews and the studio behind the game was shut down. But for years upon years, we were questioning if we were ever going to get a new Dead Rising game after that failure. As of late, in 2024, it was announced that we would get a Dead Rising game, which would be getting a deluxe remaster. Well, a lot of people would point out this is more of a remake, but the reason they call this a remaster is because they basically still kept the same core gameplay without making any changes. But let's talk about what does the deluxe remaster do that is so different than the original. Well, I'm glad for anyone that's asking. For those who's played the original version, probably knows the whole story and everything. All the cutscenes and all the story and everything it still remains the same. A lot of people also criticize the game for its censorship, which really isn't that much censorship in this game anyway. There's not much to really talk about in terms of censorship. Only very little of it has been pretty much censored. But let's just talk about what's everything that's going on around the game though. So you still got your core gameplay, but I did notice something different. The weapon animation for the baseball bat is completely different than the original game itself, and it's pretty much mo a lot easier when it comes to hitting zombies now, which is a nice improvement. One of the other things I should mention too, is that the game lets you change different costumes. Now, let me be specific here. With the costumes you have in the game, the music goes along with it. Well, you can basically mix and match. The music I'm talking about is the mall music, which is something a little different. Say if you wanted to wear the Resident Evil 1 Chris costume, you basically would get the option if you want to change it to the Resident Evil 1 Remake's save file theme. But again, you can always change them in the options menu, so you really have no problem here. I'm pretty sure you might have to get the deluxe version of the deluxe game. But I'm just going to be out of the way to say this. The big improvements I've also noticed is that the, they got AI improvements, which pretty much follows you around this time a lot better than the original game itself, and I played the original to know what I'm talking about too. I pretty much played this a month ago before I even got to play this game, and I pretty much confirmed this, because every time when I would play and get the, the NPC characters, they will always just have a mind of their own. But this one has pretty much improved, and escorting them is a lot easier, well, somewhat, almost easy. They still have some issues, but most of it has been pretty much fixed. Now what's also new is the camera. Yeah, I know it's in the original too, but this one's different. Each camera shop has their own specific piece for the camera that you guys can get. And you can use them to have flash or focus. I was able to find three pieces, not sure if that was all of them. Let me know if there's any more of that. But anyways, you can only find them in the camera shots as far as I can tell. And uh, in the camera, when it comes to taking pictures, they have a lot more room than the original game itself. I believe it was only 30, but this one only has 100 this time, which gives you plenty enough to take pictures. Now, for those that want to know, I think there's more lifelike in terms of the mall, not just because of the graphics, but because there's an announcer announcing stuff being opened or whatever, which again, if you guys go to a mall, it'd probably be more lifelike. For anyone that's concerned about the music, every set piece of the music is still there, including the licensed music. If you don't hear it in YouTube videos, it's probably because they put it on streamer mode. Yes, there's a streamer mode for anyone that's wondering. So that way you don't have to have any sort of like copyright issues on the websites or anything. I should also mention something that's quite different too. Now, you guys know how you randomly just throw enemies out of thin air? Well, this one gives you the option and later up when you level up yourself. Depending on the buttons you mash, you could do a judo throw, a power push or whatever. It's all there for you. And all your, you got your, all your moves and whatever too, so they're all basically still there. But I also know something different about this game. For anyone that's un lived under a rock, there's a YouTuber called Steeple, 
who's pretty much a Dead Rising 1 master. And he's covered up a whole lot, and I mean, for over 10 years he's covered everything about Dead Rising 1. And it's pretty much been said that some of the unused content of the original game is in this game. Like the police officer that uses his pistol, and I gotta say, when I was playing this game, I was pretty much surprised that he kept shooting at me like repeatedly this time than how he was in the original. And this game also has the unused rocket launcher weapon, which can be obtained if you kill one of the soldiers in the game. Oh, and don't get me started on the soldiers, they're more brutal in this one than the original. I wish I was kidding when I say this, but I'm not. Now, there's a bit of new dialogue in this game too, well mostly just for the survivors, but also for Frank himself. Most of the text you see were only just text boxes and whatever, but now in the game itself, they can just basically just talk without just reading the text all along. Also, not just the Frank and the survivors have new dialogue, so do the bosses when you guys fight them. But there's like a corner thing where they'll pretty much also give you hints, or perhaps like what weapon that they want you to use, or something along the lines of trying to take a picture of something that you might have missed, so you can get some more points. And there is an achievement if I all the camera stuff when it comes to like taking pictures of like certain objects in the game. But, but, if you guys don't like that, you can turn it off. I'm not too sure if the HUD is, itself is going to turn off, but it is in the options for those that want to know. And you can also play around with the UI and whatever too, inside the settings or whatever, which is pretty cool. So they give you a lot of options for you guys to play around with. So I'll just give you guys something in a nutshell here. You'll find everything to love about the original game in here. So that way you can re-experience the same aspect if you, as if you were playing it back on the Xbox 360. I want to mention you guys can get this on PS5 and Xbox Series and on Windows as of right now. But if you guys want to wait for a physical copy of this game to come out on the Xbox Series and the PS5, then it will come out around November. But I'm just going to point blank say this. The game should have also included some content from the Wii version of the game. And that is specifically is the zombified animals known as the Pudo and the Parrot. Which is something that was in the Wii version exclusively. Which you'd think with the deluxe name they would have included it but they didn't. But that was my only complaint I have about this. They should have included the Wii version content. It would have been cool to see that in this game. But I would just go out of the limb to say this. If this is your first time playing Dead Rising, then you'll find everything to like about it. I want to also mention, if you beat the game, you can, you actually unlock the two modes that were previously in the original game. So, that's basically what I would just say here. But I have also heard, I haven't really touched the modes, but I heard that Infinity Mode now supports save data. Yeah, originally you couldn't do it, but now I guess they decided to include it. Which I think what I've heard was that it was a mod, but now it's an official thing. Who would have thought a mod would become an official thing? And hey, mods do happen for a reason. I mean, back in Left 4 Dead 2, there was a mod or whatever for the tank music to be heavy metal, but now all of a sudden it became its official thing for the last stand update. So. Mods can pretty much be an official thing, if given the right things. But look, if anyone wants to play the original version of Dead Rising, you can. It's on Xbox One, PS4, Xbox 360, but I'm saying in terms of like modern console releases, you guys can get it on the Xbox One and PS4, since it is backwards compatible for the PS5 and the Xbox series. So, for anyone that just wants to do that, type of way you guys can. But I have heard we will be getting more Dead Rising games in the near future and this seems to be just starting to become a thing. So I just hope at some point we get the same treatment like this game if we're going to ever get Dead Rising 2 and it's off the record version of the game. So I'll just say right now it's worth it. I would just get it just for funds. And I think that's how it is. But let's remember one thing. 
this game has a time mechanic and what's interesting is that you can now actually fast forward time instead of waiting around but if you guys want to wait around and kill a bunch of zombies just to get some achievements or maybe level up then by all means you have that option so what are you waiting for <laughs> 